Okay, when I was uh, young, my father and mother used to try to take my sister and I to a Sunday school. They didn't go attend a church, they would just drop us off. And uh, I didn't go back to church for at least 20 years. I still believed that the God in the Bible existed and that, that Jesus was true. Uh, I never just involved myself with church much at all. And then when I retired and moved to Austin, my son-in-law, Chris McSorley, he and, and Lori, his wife, were involved in starting a church. And it was North Point. And so when Judy and I moved to uh, be with our children and our grandchildren, decided to go to church. So we went actually to the first service of North Point. Shortly after we started, maybe within the first year, there was a, a couple, uh, Don and Cheryl Wetlaufer, who were asked if we would like to join a community group. We decided we didn't want to do that when they first asked us, but the next year uh, we told them that we would. And that was a very good experience. You could always talk to the people in that group about all things that were maybe in the Bible or religious things or things just having to do with living. Nobody ever judged you or anything, which is I was always thought organized religion is just an exercise in judgment. You know, and uh, it never was that way. It was shortly after I started attending North Point that I really began to feel that I wanted to place my my full uh, trust and have total faith in, in Jesus as my savior. And my, my faith kept growing and kept growing. About a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. I started going to uh, Houston for uh, cancer treatments. The treatment they were giving me created an infection. So they wound up amputating my leg and I wound up spending 35 days in the hospital when they, when they did that. And I wasn't sure what was gonna happen with the cancer treatment because it was still on, supposed to be ongoing, but it had already cost me my leg. So I was really in a position where I didn't know where I was gonna go or what I was gonna do. And that was say in January when I got out of the hospital and Everything has just gotten better. And in fact, the last time I've had them check my cancer, it's clear. I just, I realized in probably this last spring, winter and spring, that God really was with me the whole time. And I felt that I really wanted to let people know that. So I thought the baptism was the way to do that. I wanted to uh, thank uh, Joe Eddings, who's been a very good friend of mine since I've been going to North Point. But I also wanted to thank my son-in-law, Chris McSorley, for having introduced me to the church. Well, uh, Lance, um, neither one of us are really emotional guys, but um, this might be an exception. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, uh, Joe and I are just really excited to be uh, here today uh, to, to get to celebrate this with you. Um, and uh, I just have to say, I, I have so much respect for you as, as a man. Um, you've just set such an example of what it means to be uh, a father and, and a husband who takes care of his family. Um, and really, these last few years, uh, uh, just watching you be an example of what it looks like to really rely on God. And, um, and be strong and, um, and keep your sense of humor about you in the face of whatever life is gonna throw at you. Um, so, um, you know, through all that, I think one of the, the coolest things for me has just uh, been getting to see you and Judy um, individually grow in your relationship with Christ. It's been um, just amazing to see what that's done in your life and um, it's been really, really fun to be part of. So um, I think Joe would agree. We're just really honored that we get to celebrate this moment and um, just be reminded that uh, we get to share eternity together. So that's, uh, that's really cool. Um, so we have a question for you. Uh, have you put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes, I am. Uh, with that profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death. 
walk in newness of life. Thank <laughs> you.